With this starter home series, I've been building starter homes all over The Sims 4 worlds and then revisiting them and putting more funding in and making the houses bigger. A few weeks ago, I was in Del Sol Valley and I did a 20,000 simoleon starter home. And today we're going to use 40,000 simoleons and develop it a little bit further. So let's get over to the lot in question and I'm going to talk you through what we're going to do. And here we are, my darlings, in the world of Del Sol Valley. And what I have done, what I have been and gone and done, is copied over the first starter home on the left here and just done a carbon copy of it over to this lot on the right, which we're going to be developing today. I still want to make it look very similar to how it does now. I want to go up another story and put another two bedrooms in and I want to change out some of the furniture, also the wallpapers and stuff as well. I want to freshen up this house and give it a new lease of life, really. Make it look very similar to how the first house looks, but just give it a little bit of a facelift, you know? And then what we're going to do is carbon copy this one that we're going to be building and put it on this lot here. And I want to develop it even further. And I want to make it into a very much a modern house with a lot of money spent on it. So I want this kind of like evolution of this house to kind of come through while still trying to make it look recognizable like it was like at the beginning so that's that that's the ticket today that's what we're going to do and date so first things first i want to get rid of some things i want to get rid of these fences we're going to put a nicer fence here i think and um, we'll get rid of those we'll get rid of the car they're going to be buying a new car um the hanging baskets can stay we'll probably change the fence so i'll do that i might do a new door i don't know just yet we'll keep it as it is for the minute and we'll we'll see what happens so i think the first thing to do is to make a big change and go up a second level. So I am going to maybe just copy on down the exact shape of this from here. So you're going to... Oh, 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 absolutely not. So we're going to go straight across here. Let me see how that's going to look there. That could look interesting, actually, especially with another roof line on top of there. Let's see what happens with that. And then I'm probably wanting to go back, maybe, let's check this, see how this looks. I don't want to go all the way back. I think that'll be just a little bit too big. And we need to be careful because we've only got, well, we've got 40,000 simoleons. So I'm just going to take it extra careful for the minute and hope for the best. I even might make this a little bit skinnier on top. I fear that might work a little bit better. Why are those wall pieces staying there? Yeah. I think that's going to look a little bit better. Okay, well, we've done that. Let's get a ceiling on here for a start and get a roof line on here. I think what I want to do is use a gabled roof and just go straight across here and bring that all the way back to there. Do I want to bring flaps in there? I think I do. Yes, it's going to make it. And then I'm going to make the profile a lot shorter as well. Yeah, I think that could work. I'm not going to put wallpapers on it just yet because I want to actually change the wallpapers of this house. So I think that's what we're going to do first. I'm going to change the foundation, the pillars, the fences. I may go for a different coloured window and a new door. We'll see what happens with that. Okay, this is what we're going to do. I thought against changing out the uh, foundation and the pillars because I wanted to do the bottom in a brick. So we're going to use this base game brick and I'm going to wrap this all the way around the bottom area of the house itself and I've also changed my mind about having this um sort of narrower than the, the underneath we're actually going to do it this way instead this is been being really weird up here I don't know why it's being weird like some bits I'm not being able to like move and stuff it's very annoying and I'm going to use this fresher white see, like, see what I mean it's not wrapping around the whole bloody thing like it and I bet there's like see back here as well don't understand what's going on there but okay whatever i'm going to use a bigger one anyway a bigger top level and we could probably put all the bedrooms up here now so we've got more downstairs space we'll see what happens with that yeah that's nice enough and we're also going to change out the roof texture as well and go for some new tiles and we're going to use this one here from snowy escape just a nice new black roof all the way along i think that's going to work quite nicely you need to be changed so do you there we are. Let me have a little look around here as well. Yep, that's all very nice indeed. And I think I'm going to give them a beveled roof trim as well. Mm, I think I want to go for a different colour though. I'll go for black. 
There we go. New roof trim has been completed. I do, however, want a new fence out the front here. So I'm going to use the snowy escape one and just change the fence for a new one out here, including the banister for the stairs. I may also change the color of the stairs as well. Yeah, we'll go for a fresher look with the stairs there. Lovely job. Now what I need to do is just figure out a floor plan at the top here and also at the bottom here as well because we're going to need to put a staircase in. I'm also going to get rid of everything that I don't think we need for this house now. We're going to develop it a little bit further. So we'll probably end up with a little bit more money. So we have a new floor plan and we've got some new windows up as well. And I've also picked out the wallpapers and the flooring for the interior too. So I'm going to talk you through it. So this is the new floor plan. You come straight in through this door. I'm still unsure if I'm going to change this door just yet. I think it's working pretty well, but maybe if we just go for a full white one, just so it looks like it's been painted, that's the ticket. So into the living room, you can see we've got a chimney breast going on now. I don't know how realistic it would be for Del Sol Valley, but we're doing it anyway. Um, a bathroom has stayed exactly where it is, and I kind of cut off the kitchen and dining area now. But I've lifted the kitchen up onto a platform just to make it look a little bit more interesting. And then I've put some bifo doors out from the dining room area onto the patio at the back. And I think that flows really nicely. The stairs come up this way. You come up to this level here and it's got three bedrooms. One of them, the main bedroom, it's got its own ensuite. And then we've got two equal size bedrooms on this side with a family bath on this level here. So we're doing all right. Three bedrooms, three bathrooms. And I've still got 38,000 simoleons. Yes, I have to buy all the furniture yet, but... I'm, I think we're doing quite well here. I really do. I've pulled out some pieces anyway, or left some pieces from the original house, because I think we could still utilize them somewhere. But that's the ticket. I think it's looking very nice indeed. I am happy of how it came out. I also changed the roof shape here. That roof that was going all the way through it, it just wasn't working with the shape for me. So I've kept it like this and I'm kind of happy, kind of happy indeed. I think what I want to do now is go into a speed build format and I just want to make the back garden look a little bit nicer i may even try and get a pool in i think we could get a pool in so that's what we're going to do and i want some more landscaping and stuff here and maybe some activities for the kids and things um and at the front here i want to get new fences and stuff for that too so we're going to go into a speed build portion and we're going to get the rest of the exterior done before we move into the interiors Editing Aiden here. Um, the next clip, for some reason, malfunctioned. Like, it was really, really framey. All I was doing anyway was just going around and showing what I did with the garden in that speed build portion. But it's going to be a little bit confusing, so I thought I'd pop in and say what we're going to be getting on with now is the interiors. And you'll see the garden anyway in the video tour at the end, so not all is lost. Anyway, onwards to the interiors. Okay, so here we go. I got ahead of myself and I furnished the whole downstairs and we're going to put it back together. So we're going to start with the living room. I'm going to use this fireplace. It was the cheapest and the best that kind of it looked with what we've got going on here. It's not great, but we're going to do it anyway. 
this sofa. I'm going to put the sofa in that orientation, round about there, along with an armchair off to the side. I'm going to flop you to around about there and put in a little table in between them with a lamp on. Gorgeous. Then I'm going to put in a coffee table. Coffee table is going to go around about there. And I'm going to bring in an oval shaped rug just to help out with the shape of this room a little bit. There we go. Pop a plant over in the corner to here. Lovely. Um, I'm not a huge fan of what I've done here, but I'm going to go with it anyway. It can be improved on the next time, you know. A little console table. I'm going to put that underneath the window area there. Beautiful. A little bookcase. I'm going to bring the bookcase and flop the bookcase around there and just shuffle it into the wall a little bit like this. You can see I've put a couple of sconces up. I don't tend to use these, but I think they go with this house. This house is kind of semi-dated, I would say. Um, and that is the living room, to be honest with you. I also kept the desk and the computer, and I'm going to flop that into that position there. I just changed the colour of the lamp just to freshen it up a little bit. But I think that's fine. We've, we are running low on funds. We've only got 18,000 simoleons left, so... We've got work to do. So into the kitchen, uh, you can maybe, I don't know if I did this off of camera or not, but I extended out the size of the kitchen a little bit. Uh, we're gonna put this kitchen in together. So I'm gonna use this one. It just marries in okay with the tones that we've got going on here. Uh, I'm gonna use the oven there, not pewter there. Grab out that other corner piece that's now changed. Oh no, there we go, lovely. I'm gonna put the sink next to it here. I also moved this window along a little bit and put up some pillars as well just to help out with the shape and a little bin off to the side here like this just in that area there and then cupboards i'm going to use these ones we're going to bring them all the way up to the ceiling bring you to there you to there my love you to there and you in the corner there like that and then what i've also done a fridge i'm going to go into this position here Beautiful. Let's get you into a good one. There we go. Those were the cheapest and the best kind of appliances that looked okay with this air, this um, kitchen. So that's why I chose them, you know? And I thought about a little breakfast moment here. I thought it kind of worked well having that as a breakfast bar that kind of overlooks into the actual dining room itself. And that's as far as I got. I didn't want to add any other details into there just yet. Because as I said, I want to make sure that we've got enough simoleons left over. And I would also like to get a TV, but again, that's not a necessity at the minute, so I've just left it off. Kitchen, looking okay. Um, and then dining room. Dining room was a little bit of a problem, to be honest with you. I wanted more chairs in here, but I think for the space that we've got, four chairs are going to be okay. So I'm just going to use four chairs. I'm going to use that blue rug, just because I think it, wor it works well with the wood panel and colours. And I was kind of stuck at what to put up on the walls here, so I've just gone for these paintings from... Um, I think they might be from the horse ranch. They could be from Strangerville. I have no idea, but they're going up on the wall anyway. And I'm going to put a little plant over in the corner here just to bring a little pop of green in. And I'm definitely going to be doing a kid's room or maybe even a couple of kid's room for this lot. Maybe they've got two children. Um, so I thought adding up some pictures and stuff would suffice, to be honest with you. And that is the kitchen come diner. Not too bad. Not my favourite, but I think it works well with this house. And... That's all I need to say. Bathroom, we've revamped the bathroom a little bit. We've kept the same tiles on the wall, but I've gone for a new bath and shower combo. Where's the rest of my shit? There it is. And then what we're going to do is put the sink over in this corner here. I'm going to use this little um, storage unit and maybe just shuffle it along one like that. And then I'm going to flop in a toilet over on this side. Bring in that rug here like this. And I might even try and get a little plant in this um, bathroom as well. Yeah, I'm going to go for this one. Flop it just off to the side there like that. Beautiful. So that is my downstairs portion. That's what I've got so far. So we're going to move upstairs. I'm just going to do exactly what I did with downstairs and get all of this furnished and hope for the best that we've got enough money left over just to chuck in a few extra details like a TV, maybe a picture up here. I don't know sconces all of that kind of good stuff but i'm being careful at the minute so let's do that okay so here we go this is going to be the main bedroom it's very garish but we're going with this with the theme of this place the theme of this place is very garish so it's only fitting you know we're gonna use that bed i quite like that duvet cover it's it's bright it's cheerful i would have it on my own bed and um, 
paired with some neutral terms, of course, but I do like it. I'm going to pop you to there like that. A couple of side tables, same side tables. I just changed the color of them. We're going to use these wardrobes that I've sized up using the tool mod because I just can't bear the size of these um, normally. I just think they're far too small for a wardrobe. But I'm going to use these and I'm going to get them away from the wall. Thank you. They do leave a little funny like shadow on the floor, like a couple of dots, but I don't care. That's absolutely fine. I'm going to put a little mirror over into this corner like this. I may have to move these in a bit further yet. A little chest of drawers off to the side here like that. I'm going to put you right in the middle though, please. Thank you. With these pictures above it, just because the colours kind of balance out with the room. I like that indeed. Um, this rug, again, it's a bit bright, it's a bit garish, but I think that it goes okay in here. Yeah, I'm kind of into that. We're going to do a little armchair over into the corner here. And I'm also going to put a plant just next to it like that beautiful yeah one bedroom i've also furnished the ensuite as well of all of the cheapest stuff but they should be able to get in and use everything in there same with the bathroom here as well we've gone for the same bath as downstairs but i've changed out the uh, sinks for a double sink there um i just think that looks nice um where should we start we'll start on this one here so both of these rooms are going to be children's bedrooms we're going to use uh, bunk beds. This one here is going to have a sofa underneath of it because this child is a lucky bugger and he's got, a, or they have got, I don't know, I don't know what sex they are, but they've got their own flat screen TV and stereo and whatnot. So maybe they're into like media or something. No idea. We're going to use this wardrobe. I love this wardrobe. I just wish it came with a, a swatch that actually closed the door. I would like that. And then over here, I'm going to do a desk, but this kid's not going to have a like a laptop or anything to go with it because they've got a stereo unit there for goodness sake spoiled as far as I'm concerned I'm gonna put a toy box there and I am gonna shuffle this over a little bit now and plop you to around about there like that and then I did have a rug for in this room and I think it was this one here the ladybird rug and I just flopped it in fact I'm gonna flop it there just by the seating area one children's bedroom and then the next one this one here is I reckon they're a little bit more creative. So I've gave them a laptop and a desk underneath look. Um, and I've also gave them one of those creative tables as well. So I'm going to flop in one of those there. Um, we're using the same wardrobe, but we've gone for a bit of a different color instead. Flopping that one right into the wall, please. Thank you. Still giving them a sofa just in case they have friends over or something. They can have a little sofa moment there. And obviously a toy box. I'm going to flop the toy box around about there. Um, using my spatial awareness and I think the sim should be able to use everything there and then this rug here is going to go underneath the desk area there like that and I think that is Bob's your uncle and Fanny's your aunt to be honest 454 simoleons left and that is because I did end up putting in a tv downstairs so a big flat screen tv into the Del Sol Valley starter renovation and well I'm happy with it I am. I like the exterior. I think the exterior is very, very cute. I'm looking forward to adding on to this and making it look modern. And um, once we get to the third one, that I'll bring out in the next in the, in the next few weeks at some point, I would imagine. But yeah, here we go. So the new and improved exterior, before and after. I mean, that is a substantial size, and all with forty thousand simoleons as well. So let's go into the backyard first. We'll make our way past the cars through the gate. And this is the backyard area. So they've got their own swimming pool, for goodness sake. You know, they are living the life of luxury. They really are. Swing set. Nice little um, veranda moment as well with some dining space. And we have got a barbecue here. Somewhere to go for a sunbathe to. Let's go in through the front door, shall we? Can we move any faster than this? The answer to that, Aiden, is no. So in through the front door, we come into the living area. Um, it was hard to furnish this place because of the colour tone that I've picked with the wood. But I still wanted it to have a little bit of a warmer atmosphere in here. But it's okay. It's not my best, but I think it suits this house. And that's all that matters. So yeah. Um, in through this door here is a bathroom. Full bathroom as well. All that you're going to need for your ones and twos. And then you come through this archway into the kitchen area. So fully stocked kitchen, including a smoke alarm. Thank you. Um, sink. Fridge. I've managed to put a fridge in this time, which is always marvellous. And then you come into the dining room area with the bifo doors out to the back garden. Um, nice improvement. I do like how this kind of came together. I do like the floor plan. I like the floor plan of this place. 
I'm just not too keen on the style, but you know, we're going to continue on anyway. So up to the landing. I didn't really furnish the landing much apart from putting out um, a chair and a little side table there. And then you come into this one and this is the upstairs bathroom. Everything that you're going to need in there with the toilet around the corner. The first child's bedroom is the one with the kind of yellowy kind of theme going through. I mean, they're going to be spoiled for choice in here, to be honest. Come through this way. We'll go into the other child's bedroom. Um, so this is a bit more of a blue theme going on. Lovely. Again, going to be spoiled for choice. Got lots of activities for kids. And then you come into this way. And this is the main bedroom. So fully stocked. Two wardrobes and a unit there. I'm a bit worried about this gap here. Whether the Sims are going to be able to get through it or not. So I will play a test it. And I'm not going to be getting this up on the gallery until all of this is completed. And then you can kind of see the... The full picture then you know and then they've got their own little ensuite bathroom as well so yeah beautiful okay well we're done so as i said i will be back with this in the next few weeks where we're going to be developing this further into a nice modern home um i'm still going to make it look similar to this as in the shape wise so you can kind of see how it evolved but i do want to completely modernize it with all new windows and everything so that's what we're going to be doing Yes, we are indeed. Anyway, my loves, thank you so much for watching. I will be back tomorrow. I'm going to be doing a little nostalgic build tomorrow. And you Brits out there are going to be very happy, especially if you're my age. I'm going to be building the small little cottage from Tots TV. Does anybody remember Tots TV? I used to absolutely love that program when I was a child. And I loved the house that they all lived in. So that's coming up on the channel tomorrow. But that's it. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you all then. Goodbye.